Hey guys, what's up? It's Julia, and, uh, it's my day off today. Um, I had a few people request that I made a video today, um, because my last video was regarding today and things that were supposed to be happening today, and I figured, um, I'd just tell ya that, um, go figure, okay? Um, if you haven't watched the last update video, a very unfortunate update video, I will put the link below so you can check that out before here, or I'll put it in a box up there. Dude, I don't even know how to do that yet. Maybe I should find out, because it's a really freaking good idea. But anyway, um, Jacob texted me at 10.30 this morning. We were supposed to meet up at noon, and he said, hey, I can't meet up to exchange stuff today. So, whatever. Like, I'm kind of, in a weird way, that actually made me feel a lot better about things, because I think I was, like, mainly screwed up, just because, like, I didn't know, like, where things were going to go from here, and if he was going to be like, I miss you, I love you, we need to get back together, because this is a big mistake, even though I've already done that before, and he said no, and then I just fucked everything up, um... You know, I really didn't know what was going to happen, but, I mean, now that he's done that, it's, it's like, that's pretty much what he was doing that initiated the whole breakup thing in the first place. Like, that was the straw that broke the camel's back, and the fact that he didn't learn from any of that, or even cared to apologize or tell me why he couldn't meet up or anything, that just kind of tells me that whatever he has to say, it, it's, it's nothing that I really want to hear, you know? And I don't care. Like, just give me my stuff back. I'll give you your shitty CD back. And uh, let's just freaking move on with our lives. Because, like, I've been finding out more and more each day that, like, life without you is just so much better, dude. <laughs> it really is. And yeah, I know it's only been, like, a couple days since I made that video. And I seemed so freaking sad when I was recording that video. But, like, seriously that video, it helped a lot, because there was just so much built up, and I just needed to let it out, and after I did that, it was like, it was just gone, you know, like, it was just out there, and it wasn't in me anymore, so, it's just kind of healing right now, and it's really good. Aside from that, I'm having, like, a really awesome day, <laughs> and it's, I don't know, I'm just, like, really, really happy about it, like, I had a dream last night that I went running with my little brother and my mom, and, um, like, it was just good, like, it was a good dream, like, it, like, I enjoyed it, and I was, like, so happy, I was like, oh, yes, finally freaking running again, so when I woke up, I was like, I was like, wow, that made me feel like shit, but then I was like, wow, I actually really want to go, like, running today, and, like, Ever since, like, shit got nasty, um, I have not worked out at all. Like, I stopped eating, stopped working out, stopped sleeping, everything. Like, I, I explained it earlier, but, like, fucking, I wasn't doing shit. Um, and even before then, like, I wasn't even doing any cardio, because, like, I always worked out with Jacob, and he only ever wanted to lift. He didn't like cardio, even though he's a fucking fat ass. Um, so I didn't do cardio for a long-ass fucking time, so today, for like the first time in so, so long, I went for a run, and it was not a good run, it was only like two miles, and I'm, I'll admit it, I walked for a part of it, it wasn't long though, I always do the ten second rule, but um, <laughs> so embarrassing. But, I don't know, that helped my mood, too. Um, I'm just trying to keep myself busy today, I guess. My mom left me some chores, and that was fucking great. But, I, uh, I also felt like making brownies. So I made some brownies. And, of course, the other day, uh, actually it was last night, um, Rob was like, Hey, you should bring in treats to work tomorrow, and I was like, uh, why don't you just get your own food, like, fuck you, like, I'm not, I'm not a freaking delivery person for, like, cakes and goodies, um, 
But of course, I really wanted to make brownies today, so I just did it anyway. So, whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah, tomorrow, I'm supposed to be dyeing Rob's hair. We're actually dyeing it together. And, um, we're gonna have matching hair. Not, like, matching matching, because I'm not cutting my hair short. I've been growing it out for, like, a year now. And I really want to keep growing it out. Um, and his hair is not this long. It's just, like, you know, he's got, like, long bangs and it's, it's got to the point where like it curls up on the side so I'm going to trim up his hair and dye it and we're both going to have brown hair with like black chunks in it and it's going to look sick and I'm so excited I went to Sally's today and got some supplies but tomorrow we're going to go shopping for hair dye because I don't know how light he wants the brown or how dark he wants the black so it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna see if he wants to like record it. Um, I always like I always do my friend's hair. Like all it like it's what I do. Like I do it for free. Um, so I don't know if you live in Northwest Pennsylvania or you know like near. I don't know. Like I'll do your hair for free if you want. <laughs> Cause I like doing hair. Um, but uh, woo, my hair's falling out. By the way. I don't know why he keeps doing that. I think it's because summer, summer, he doesn't want to shed. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked for that. We're calling it his emo over because he, I don't know. I think I'm doing his eyeliner and nails too. He's really weird, guys. Don't make fun of him or anything, but we call ourselves twins because we have like the exact same fucking personality and we like the same music. And now we're both gonna have the same hair, so <laughs> we're like really weird. And no, we're not freaking dating, and we're not gonna date. And we both are aware of this fact. He's not gonna try to get me to date him or anything, and I'm not gonna try to date him. We're just we're just gonna be two peas in a pod for a while, just in case you're gonna fucking talk shit. Which, I don't know. I feel like someone would fucking want to talk shit. Be like, oh, Julie, you just get over your boyfriend so fast. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm fucking over his bullshit, but I'm not over him. And I'm not moving on to someone else. I'm just hanging out with people that make me fucking happy, so... Yeah. But anyhow, I figured I'd, like, let you know that I am feeling better and things are looking up and I have two different colored nails and um... I don't know I'm just... I've been getting a lot of like hey I hope you're feeling okay messages and stuff uh, so just to let you know guys I'm feeling okay and um... thank you so much like thank you so much for everyone who like, try to lend a hand, and, like, be like, hey, you can talk to me, like, I don't usually, like, I'm not the kind of person most times, it's just, like, I don't know, I don't like to burden other people with, like, my troubles, because, like, they wind up being a lot, like, bigger than people think they are, so, but anyway, thank you guys so much for being friend to me, and you're the greatest, and I love you guys so much, and, um, feel free to talk to me even when I'm not super sad, because I'm pretty cool. That was so convincing. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'll see you guys later. I love you.